In this video, we'll write the net ionic equation for BaCl2 plus K2SO4. This is barium chloride and this is potassium sulfate. The first thing we need to do with net ionic equations, we have to balance the molecular equation. This is our molecular equation. It looks like all I need to do is put a 2 in front of the KCl and we're done. The molecular equation is balanced. Next, we write the states for each of the substances. So when we look at barium chloride, chlorides are very soluble. So that should dissolve in water. Be aqueous, it'll split apart into its ions. Potassium sulfate, sulfate's usually soluble, and we have this potassium that's a group one metal. So we would expect that also to dissolve completely, to be a strong electrolyte. Barium sulfate, sulfates are often soluble, but when we have elements in group two, sometimes they're not. So let's check that out on a solubility table. So here is our solubility table, and we're gonna look up barium sulfate. So barium is right here, and we can go over here, and the sulfate, SO4, is right here. So we're right here with this I. I means that it's insoluble, won't dissolve in water. So it's gonna be a solid. That means it's gonna be a precipitate at the bottom of our test tube, just a solid sitting there. For chlorides, very soluble, so we're gonna write aqueous, that should dissolve in water and dissociate. So now we have our states. Next, we're going to split the strong electrolytes up into their ions. That'll give us this complete ionic equation. The strong electrolytes, those are the ones with the AQ after them. So what we need to figure out is the charge. Barium, that's in group 2 on the periodic table, 2 plus the chloride ion, that's minus. So we have Ba2 plus, and I won't write aqueous each time. We'll write that at the end plus the chloride ion, Cl minus, in this subscript, that means we have two of those. Potassium's in group one, it has a one plus charge. And then the sulfate, that's a polyatomic ion, it always has a two minus ionic charge. So we have plus K plus, the potassium ion, and we have two of those, plus that sulfate ion, SO4, two minus. So these are the reactants. For the products, when we write net ionic equations and we have a solid, we don't split the solids apart into its ions. That's because it's not dissolved. It's actually a solid at the bottom of the test tube. So we're just going to write BaSO4, and that'll be a solid. Plus, we said we had a plus and a minus, 2K plus, plus 2Cl minus. So these are our products. Now that we have the complete ionic equation, we can cross out spectator ions. These are ions that are on both sides. They're in the reactants and in the products. So Ba2 plus, I don't see that in the products here, but 2Cl minus, I have it here, and then in the products I have it. So cross it out. I have 2K plus in the reactants, 2K plus in the products, cross it out. But everything else is unique. So our net ionic equation, that's gonna be Ba2 plus, the barium ion, plus the sulfate ion yields the solid barium sulfate. So let me clean this up, and then we'll have a nice tidy net ionic equation for BaCl2 plus K2SO4. So this is our net ionic equation for barium chloride plus potassium sulfate. And this is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.